In this video, I am going to show you how to install Firefox on your Windows 10 PC. Okay, so let's go down to Microsoft Edge. Open that up. And oh, wants to do all of this thing. If Edge makes you edgy, let's get Firefox. All right, so we're going to do a search for Firefox. Okay, and you want to get the uh, the Mozilla.org link, right? Anything else, bogus, bogus, stay away, right? So let's go ahead and click on their download link. And it's running a security scan there, and we can go ahead and click on run. user account control may pop up. Go ahead and say yes that you want to continue. And here's the Firefox installation. So we can close Edge off in the background. We don't need that running any longer. You can click on options for your Firefox install. If you're uh, up on privacy, etc., you can uncheck send information about this installation to Mozilla. Right, and you can choose where you'd like your shortcut shortcuts for Firefox to be. Um, yeah, if it's going to be your main browser, I would just keep them all selected. And uh, of course, we have our choice to install the Firefox background update service. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, keep things up to date and working properly. So after clicking next, we have the installation proceeding. All right, so a window pops up and asks if you would like to import settings and data from, for example, Microsoft Internet Explorer. If you have Google Chrome on your system, it may ask about that. This was a clean install. I don't have any uh, favorites or whatever in Internet Explorer, so there's no point in Firefox checking. So I'm just going to say don't import anything and click on next. And then the all important question, would you like Firefox to be your default browser, right? And uh, my suggestion over Edge, yeah, go ahead, let's do it. And keep checked the, uh, always perform this check when starting Firefox, that uh, will help you recover uh, this preference should another browser steal it away. So we'll go click on use Firefox. Now uh, Windows 10 pops up their default apps window in, the, in their uh, settings area. So essentially they're wanting to see well what do you really want to do. So let's click here where it says web browser and re-specify that we want Firefox. Okay, so you see how that works. You tell your system, yeah, I want Firefox to be the default browser, but Microsoft pops up and says, well, we're not really going to do that until you take another step, right? Anyway, so be it. We have dealt with it, and we can now close the system settings box here. We maximize Firefox. So Firefox tells you a few things. You can close that window. You can close that window. Here's your start page and whatever you want to look up, of course. You can go ahead and have fun browsing the internet. All right. If you want, also, you can drag your icon on the taskbar to the left if you like that as your primary position. And Firefox is installed and working. Okay, actually, let's do one more thing. I notice it jumped off the taskbar. So let's double click on the icon on the desktop and we'll right click on our Firefox icon here and say pin program to taskbar, which we did have as a choice earlier, right? So this is another example of Microsoft not listening to normal commands that you've initiated. So now when we close, yeah, there you go, it stays. Okay, so you've got your icon on your taskbar. You've got one on your desktop. Let's double check start. 
Whoa, it's not there. Okay, recently added. You can click on that and drag it over and get your icon into your uh, main start window there. All right. Now you're set to go. Thanks for watching.